Star Wars The Acolyte released its first two episodes, but how is this thriller mystery show? This is Exasperator Explains. The Acolyte is set during the High Republic era, 120-something years before A New Hope. This era and show are part of a multimedia push fleshing out this time period with novels and comic books already having been released featuring some of these characters. I've read the High Republic comic books, but I have not read the novels. So how does this series fare after two episodes? Well, it's okay, at least so far. Let me break down the good and the bad, and I am going to get into spoilers here. Mystery. The creator described this as a mystery thriller, but I think the mystery part has been a weakness so far on multiple fronts. The first mystery is setting up the audience to believe Osha killed Trinity in the opening. However, it was handled clunkily. Maybe the creators were going for this, but it seemed like the opening was a dream given she wakes up right after this in shock. And she does wake up from a dream later in this episode. Does this character want revenge or maybe it's a prophetic dream? Nope, because then we find out this did happen. Okay, but it clearly wasn't this character. Then they mention a sister. Obviously, it's the sister. I'm not certain how long, if at all, people are supposed to think she was the killer. It was not a smooth way to introduce the story and characters to the audience. Maybe that was the intention, pulling you in a lot of different directions at once really quickly, but it was not satisfying. The second mystery is what happened when May and Osha were children, which is mostly still up in the air. Both sisters thought the other sister was dead, and they seem to have a connection through the Force even though they were both apparently training in it at the same time and never connected before, but forget all that. The most interesting part of this mystery to me is, did the Jedi actually do something wrong, or is it a certain point of view situation? From my point of view, the Jedi are evil! Hmm... This was dispelled just as quickly as a mystery in the second episode when one of the Jedi involved took poison and asked for forgiveness. Obviously, they are guilty of something pretty heinous. I assumed it had something to do with trying to take one or the other sister into the Order and May getting upset, accidentally leading to this apparent fire that killed people. After all, they already mentioned how Osha was 8 when she came into the Order and how unusual that was. But even that seems tame compared to death by poisoning. So there's still an active mystery there, but what I thought was the most interesting part of that mystery has already dispelled. And third, there's the mystery of who the Master is. Where did this person get a red lightsaber? Are they really Sith, or do they just think they're neat? The problem with this mystery is, at least so far, there's nothing to tease the viewer. It's unlikely it will be a character we know, so there'd be no point. So it's more of, eventually we will tell you who this character is, which is not a mystery. One thing a mystery is supposed to do is provide clues so you can follow along as it is uncovered and ideally realize things around at the same time as the protagonist and every additional clue you don't realize is later revealed. Then upon further viewings, you can pick up on these clues you had not noticed before. That's why in a murder mystery, the culprit is always someone that has been introduced and not just a random guy passing by who had not been part of the story. There is no way to figure out who this person is, at least in the show. There's a chance it's such and such from the novel, and that may excite some people, but even if that is the case, that means the show fails here, as it's not really a mystery in the traditional sense. These are reveals, not mysteries, and there is a difference. Also, the creator said she wanted to explore further back than the Phantom Menace when seeing a Sith would be like seeing a Velociraptor, 
but of course, given the Phantom Menace is a hundred years later, it would seem even more unlikely at that point. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. Characters. I think this is probably the strongest point. I like Master Soul and Osha. The Padawan character is fine, or at least interesting enough. I don't hate any of the characters other than thinking Yod is kind of a doof, but I think you're supposed to feel that way, so that's fine. May is a bit strange. Obviously, we don't know everything yet, but her randomly attacking and trying to kill strangers feels odd given her very pointed goal of four Jedi she wants to kill. I know it's in service of that cause, but it is still weird. I'm certain her reluctance to kill the bartender is supposed to show she's not all the way gone, and she could have killed him as a witness, but keep in mind all the other patrons that saw her and left would have also been witnesses. The action. I think the action was pretty poor. The only real fights so far are Jedi fighting Mei, and they are doing the Kung Fu slash Matrix thing, where someone is obviously more powerful and holding back while fighting. It's annoying because just overpower her, capture her, and find out more information, and from a visual standpoint, it's basically the same fight. Now, you can say that makes sense in World, given there are Jedi who know each other and were trained in the same time period, but that does make it somewhat boring. You can also say that was an attempt to increase tension, and Mei could get another kill with her same trick, which was foiled by Yod. And that's true, but you could have still had that moment without having a very similar fight. Oh, and the prisoner breakout is just weird. You think if you knew a species had essentially a super powerful trunk on their forehead, you'd take some precautions in transport? But at least it was a somewhat interesting sequence. The world. There are some interesting world building parts, such as droids mostly being more utilitarian with less of a personality. They did mention the existence of R2 units, but they seem like they're something new in general. I do think that they make the Jedi seem just as incompetent here as they were in the prequels, which is odd considering this is supposed to be the High Republic and height of their power. The Jedi out in the boonies are apparently yokels who seem kind of dumb. That's likely to be true in a real world scenario, but also a little too real for Star Wars in a way. Like yeah, being stationed in the middle of nowhere means you probably aren't top Jedi, but I'd hoped it wouldn't be so obvious. Also, the Jedi are more concerned about visuals and politics in place of, you know, the Force, upholding peace, or solving a murder. If it were to become public that a former Jedi killed one of our own, our political enemies could use it against us. Then when there's an active situation, instead of making a decision and following up quickly, they insist on having a meeting, which was funny to me. We must we move- We don't make decisions like this without meaningful discussion, Soul. We will see you soon. And also very reminiscent to how the Jedi seemed like a bloated bureaucracy instead of a knightly order in the prequels. A few other random nitpicks. They make a big deal when Trinity pulls out her lightsaber. A Jedi doesn't pull her weapon unless prepared to kill. And literally the next time we see it taken out is as a flashlight. I don't know if that was an intentional joke, but I did laugh. Also, a few of the effects shots were noticeably bad. Look, I know there's a lot of negative here, but it was not offensively bad, as I think some Star Wars has been. It may get there, or it may get better. I came in with an open mind, and I'm still reserving my final judgment until I see more. But that is my opinion. What do you think of the show? Do you think the mysteries are engaging and interesting? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious as to what others think. If you made it to the end, please consider subscribing to the channel for more content, liking the video, and sharing it with others to help the channel grow. Thanks for watching. Bye.